Good morning, West Palm, and welcome to the October 27th edition of the Packer News. I'm Cody Sprecher. And I'm Joe Lear. Here are today's headlines. Attention all blood donors. To reduce your wait time by 20 minutes, please log on to www.unitedbloodservices.org and fill out the questionnaire prior to your scheduled time. This questionnaire can be only filled out the day of the donation. The West Fargo High School's theater program musical, The Addams Family, opens next Friday, November 3rd. Here's Packer correspondent Christopher Boykai with more on the story. Here at West Fargo High School, November 3rd, the musical, The Addams Family, will be taking place. First year director Bryce Henriksen thinks the students approach the show as professionals and work hard to prepare for a great show. I think the hardest part about this show is just thinking about the fact that a lot of people actually know what the Adams Family is. Senior Maddie Johnson is doing her very last show in West Fargo High School. She tells us what she expects this year. Expectations? I mean, I think they're very high. Johnson hopes newcomers to West Fargo High School to either gain an appreciation for the program. Their love and joy for theater. I want them to love it as much as I do. Junior Ryan Schlepp is doing his third musical in West Fargo High School. He describes how different this show has been from all of his other shows. I think this show I was pretty passionate about, so I put more effort into getting ready for this. It's a really fun show. So Schlepp enjoys the variety each year brings. It's fun to have a new cast each year and you get to know so many people. Henriksen said the career process is one of his favorite parts of directing. Going from like the abstract concept that's in my brain and seeing it come to life on stage and kind of putting all the components together. This is Packer Correspondent Christopher. Man, it looks like that musical is going to be a good one this year. I hope. Are you a junior or senior considering a career in medical laboratory, science pharmacy, or pre-med, but you haven't been able to dive into the experience to see if, you, if it is good fit for you? Then here is your chance. The Hope Academy is a cooperative program led by professionals from NDSU and Sanford Health Fargo where you can participate in a session related to the above on November 16th at NDSU and November 30th at Sanford from 6 to 9 p.m. Students must attend both evenings. Cost is $40 and the registration deadline is Thursday, November 2nd. Please get the registration form from the Career Center located in room 110F. On Tuesday, in Ms. Barnes' field biology class, students heard from local pollinators who extracted honey from West Fargo High School's own beehive. Students were able to taste the honey, and there was also a presentation from the Plains Art Museum. The 7th Annual Team Ian Run will be held next Saturday, November 4th at 9 a.m. This event's fun run or walk that raises money to support community members suffering from cancer. This year's proceeds from the event will, go to, will be donated to West Fargo High School student game campus whose West parents, Chris Johnson, the mile run is $20 and the 5K is $30 and a t-shirt is included with each race. Sign-up sheets are available in the office at all three lunches in room 224J. Please come and show your support. Marketing 2. Students have launched their business, North Dakota Field, and their products are available in the Packer Connection. Water bottles are available for $18 in the school store and $2 of those 18 will go to Gabe Compost. Wrestlers, we will be having our parent meeting following the winter sports meeting on Monday, October 30th at 7 p.m. Please make sure your parents are aware of this. You are also welcome to attend. Thank you so much for watching this week's edition of the Packer News. I'm Cody Sprecher. And I'm Joe Lear. Have a great weekend, West Fargo.